sold out months in advance, the Pitchfork Music website strides into Europe, choosing Paris for its first international music festival. One more step forward for this indie authority that's grown from a bedroom music project to 4 million unique visitors a month. Pitchfork is a true internet success story, something even its creator, Ryan Schreiber, couldn't have imagined back in 1995 when he was just a teenager. Um, I always kind of had uh, intended to become a musician and uh, start a band or something like that, but um, as I got into doing this, I realized that it was so much more fun to listen to and write about other people's music than to make it myself. Seven years of a successful Pitchwalk Festival in Chicago gave Schreiber the idea of expanding the brand across the Atlantic. He decided Paris would be well positioned to host the website's first major festival overseas. We've been thinking about Europe for a while, um, for years actually, and um, this year we really decided to, to tackle it. Pitchfork is credited with bringing independent music to the mainstream, with recent Grammy winners Arcade Fire often used as an example. But the website is not without its critics, even from among these paying customers. Uh, if you go to uh, European countries, you all have these American bands, whereas our local acts and the main music websites, they all uh, write about North American bands too much. And uh, that's, uh, that's a negative side effect for the rest of you know, European music, I think. I like a lot of the music, I think they've got good taste, but at the same time it's not, you know, if Pitchfork likes it, then I like it. Its staff is pretty knowledgeable and, and very intelligent, and they're great writers. But I think that sometimes they take it a little too seriously. Criticism Ryan takes on the chin, he says it comes with the territory. I think that once you get to the, the size that we are, you have four million people reading you in a month, there's always going to be a, a, you know, a lot of people out there who aren't fans of it or, or think that we should be doing it differently. You know, we do this uh, on a daily basis sort of to the best of our abilities and as fairly um, and as accurately as, as, we, as we reasonably can. The smaller acts playing the festival, like British folk quartet Stornoway, they are hoping the pitchfork effect will work its magic. With its readership on the rise, another festival planned for New York, and talk of a television station, it seems that one music fan's hobby has quietly become a global empire.